In today's video, I'm going to show you all the things you need to know about the tape tool in GoodNotes, so let's start. To enable the tape tool, turn on the edit mode first. To do that, tap the pencil icon, then tap the tape icon. Once enabled, you can now use your pencil to add a tape anywhere in your document. If the initial tape thickness is not to your liking, you can select from the three preset sizes here. You can customize this three preset tape thickness by selecting one and then tapping it again. This window will appear and using this slider, you can adjust the tape thickness to the size you desire. You can adjust all of the three presets if you like. And if you want to restore to the default sizes, tap the icon on the upper left of the window and tap the Restore Stroke option, then tap OK. Aside from using the tape to add design elements in your digital notebook or digital planner, you can also use this for studying because you can tap a tape using your finger and the text behind the tape will become visible. And if you tap it again, the tape will become opaque. This is possible in both the edit mode and the read mode. So far, the tape tool that we have been creating are all straight, but if you want it to be a little wonky, tap the tape icon and in here, turn off the straight tape option. Once that is turned off, your tape tool can now look like this. If you want to resize, rotate, or delete a tape, you can use the lasso tool. To do that, first select the tape that you want to modify or delete, and once that is selected, tap inside the selection. If you want to resize or rotate the tape, select the third icon from the left. To resize, just adjust the circles in any of the corners. And to rotate, use the rotation icon. Now, if you want to delete a tape, once the tape that you want to delete is selected, tap inside the selection again and select the trash icon. If you are looking for a more customized way to delete a tape, you can use the eraser tool. There are three types of eraser that you can use in GoodNotes and the most basic one is the standard eraser. If you use this on a tape, the erasure area will look like this. The other type of eraser is the stroke eraser. You can use this if you want to delete the entire tape. And lastly, the precision eraser. You can use this type of eraser if you want the most detailed erasure style. Also, when using the eraser tool, if you want to only delete tapes and not the other handwritten notes, make sure that the Erase Tape Only option is turned on. There is also another way that you can delete all the tapes that are in the current page. To do that, select the Tape Tool icon, then tap on it again, and in this window, tap the Remove All Tape. Now to the fun part, if you want more choices or variety on your tape design, you can add by tapping the Add Preset icon. Then tap on this other Add Preset icon and you will be prompted to select from these choices. So let's try the option Add a Solid Color first. You can select any of the preset colors here or use the color wheel to select. If you know the hex code of the particular color that you want, you can enter it through here. And say if you want a particular color that is already in your digital notebook but don't know its hex code, you can use the color picker to select. Once the color is selected, tap back and you will see the newly added tape here. Another way on how you can have more tape option is to customize an existing preset. There are already eight types available here and you can select one and depending on the style, you can customize the background color, foreground color, and the accent color. Once those are customized to your liking, tap the Add to Presets option. In here, the customized preset is added. 
The last option on how to have more tapes is to add your own design. To do that, select the Upload from Files option. From here, select the pattern you want to use and once that is loaded, you can now use that as a pattern to your tape tool. And that is all the things you need to know about the tape tool in GoodNotes. Let me know what you think about this feature and if you have any questions, just comment them down below. And I am Kazel and until next time, bye!